This city is Kayonza. Our first stop and it's like uh, it's a farmer's market and you can get some sugar canes and avocados and flowers and you know, kind of like different things. Um, but they're all put in order for all the tourists because you know you've seen the real market how it looks like but this is just more like well put together and, and then there is the coffee shop where you can get like different things different snacks so yeah so we've arrived at the mentis lodge it's quite beautiful. The nature is absolutely amazing. It's to die for. And this is in the Akagera Resort. Like, yeah. Beautiful. It's a cute room and the view is probably the best part of this place. Look at that. Like it's 7 in the morning and the sun is already up and there's like some sort of a calm around it. And I'm quite sad that we're not gonna stay here any longer but also it's like if you're here there is four hours to the main city this is some sort of like a getaway from home and then come back so it wouldn't be a hotel that I would recommend for you to stay like a week or something because it's just too far from everything but the view though absolutely gorgeous so you have like your little balcony here so there was a map that showed the areas of Rwanda and then a timeline which showed the different animals in which year they you know uh disappeared or they they gained new animals and then we just landed in the maze of you know the national park where all the animals were out in the free and it was so beautiful to see whether you're five or 45 65 this is such a great experience that i would recommend anyone to just have an experience of of course we had to stay in the car because it was the most safest but we saw a lot of animals it was so beautiful i have absolutely nothing more to say than this 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 so we are going on a sunset boat trip and I have to wear this hideous thing, jacket, light jacket. And apparently there's this thing where you just put it in between here and here just to stay protected. I can't even do it myself. What is this? There you go. And like this. I mean, I don't know what I look like, but it doesn't matter as long as I don't get eaten by two crocodiles. So I think that West will s s protect <laughs> you against getting eaten? Yes. You float, you know that that's the only thing it <laughs> protects. <laughs> but the view is absolutely amazing. Look at it. It's still, it's great. So yeah, let's wait and see. Okay. 
Okay, so guys, when we took this trip, we thought it was going to be, you know, the trip's name was Sunset Boat Trip. But we ended up just, you know, looking for birds and other kind of species on, on you know, in the lake. And I wasn't having it because I was like, what is this? We quickly found out that we played ourselves in terms of our expectation for a sunset boat trip. Um, because all the other guests on the boat were there to actually catch some birds and other animals around the lake where else we really wanted to see the sunset and have that you know a romantic feeling by the lake and water and sunset and whatnot um so what i would recommend if you ever get this opportunity is to take the boat trip with your group make sure that you're full on the boat so you get to decide the agenda instead of you know going with a bunch of different people who have different interests now that's not wrong i'm not saying that it's wrong to have different interests i'm just saying me expecting sunset and getting to see birds for one and a half hour is not really what i signed up for uh taking into consideration that the title of the trip was sunset boat trip so my recommend will be like take the boat trip with your group of people and decide instead of um taking the boat trip with a lot of different people who have different interests in what they want to see Two things that you liked and two things that you shouldn't do. The national park is fine, but don't drink water from the taps. Perfect. Um, if you go to the city called Kibuye, you can also visit a Clio hotel. Um, and then I also like to do my hair and nails every time I'm in Rwanda because it's so cheap and they're very good at it. Um, but I would not recommend to uh, run into a traffic jam if you're in the middle of Kigali. So try to avoid that and also try to negotiate a price before uh, starting everything. Um, just negotiate the price and then afterwards pay. Make sure that people you hire uh, know what to do and know to uh, to do their jobs so you don't get stuck or uh, you miss something. So avoid bad people, that's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. And good thing, uh, make a plan, make a schedule because um, if you don't, you might just end up uh, waste time watching for something you want to do and then the whole day will be gone and you don't want to do that. So have a plan and avoid uh, uh, people, inconstant people who don't do shit. It's very important. Yeah, the first uh, thing, good things, is the coffee down here. It's really, really good. Um, try some different brands. It's really nice. Um, the second good thing is uh, hire a driver. It will do your <laughs> your trip much easier because down here they drive like. They don't care. Uh, <laughs> they just drive. <laughs> no lights, no uh, nothing. Um, and the bad thing is um, uh, you should avoid is like flashing your money uh, in public uh, because there is the people here down here is really uh, really uh, nice, but yeah, they attempted to 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 take some money from you. Uh, they will not rob you, I think, but. Uh, they maybe pickpock you uh, in a bag for money, and that could be uncomfortable. Yeah. Thank you. Same Same day. Day.
Chiza muri Kigali nuko area hari umutekano area de security ugomba gukora ikintu cyawe neza utuje ugasenguruka ikigali ukareba kigali ni nziza ukazenguruka urwanda ahantu hose ni heza place nyinshi ni nziza cyane ikintu kibi utagomba gukora hano mu Rwanda nuko Kwa mashashi, mashashi na guebewe, nuko nuera itavi muri publici ahano hari awano. Jemewe ngomu ma hote ma banki aliko area ni shizo hanzi wabjemewe. Ndomba yuko awano wami na wami na wugia wanga mira aliko wose wakati bure ngansi ra. Cool, thank you get around to Rwanda so you don't only stay in Kigali because then you wouldn't see the differences of the whole country. Um, I've been pleasantly surprised by visiting the whole country. Uh, uh, second thing is um, try to make a schedule. It's, it's so important that when you have a long, long trip. Bad things well, try to avoid speaking about uh, the genocide in a way that really awakens uh, everybody's trauma. You can speak about the genocide, but just be respectful about it. Stop asking people whether they're Tutsis or Hutus, because it's a history that it's just deeper than, than just so. so. Um, another thing try not to take pictures of people doing their everyday life because it's just very imposing and it's not good you wouldn't be taking pictures of your grandma while she's taking a shower so don't do that yeah the last few days we decided to just take a walk in the streets of Kigali to just find the hidden gems that are out there and just visit the places that we haven't had the chance to visit just yet. <laughs> More to make pen. Never get a telephone. I saw him by her face. Yes. Dead. So, what you can see here is us at Pili Pili and it's a place that I would highly recommend because of three things the view the music and most importantly the food as you can see here I had ugali and cassava and a stew and it was absolutely delicious like I have probably this entire time I've been in Rwanda that was the best best food I've tasted to date and even though it's touristic i still enjoyed it i loved it being i loved being there i loved the whole vibe of it so i highly recommend so this is the last day um we have in kigali uh and we've enjoyed every single second of it um i, I was supposed to wake up at six o'clock to show you the sunrise but you know, got too much champagne last night, so that didn't happen. But you'll probably see it the next time I come back. So thank you so much for following me uh, through this journey. And I always say, until next time, until next travel. Bye. Okay, last trip, what do you have to say? Yes, so I'm not, uh, yeah. I'm gonna miss you guys. <laughs> no, sorry, don't mind me if uh, I was in the bathroom and they said they had to go because they're too red. So. Okay. Last trip, what do you have to say? Uh, yeah, it's sad we have to go home. One week more will be perfect. <laughs> big man, big man. Last trip, what do you have to say? Oh, so sad. I just want to cry, but I don't. No, we don't cry. I'm okay, going to right. miss you right now, right now. Oh. Yeah. See you next time. Yeah. Oh.
Last trip, what do you want to say? I'm so sad we're going home already. Three weeks went by so fast. But um, that's how it is when you have fun, right? Yeah.